For this tutorial, we will see everything about managing the soundtracks and animation in TV Paint. To open the soundtrack area, you can click on this button just here. And it displays a little drawer where you can manage the soundtracks. And to open the soundtracks, just click on the little note, um, music note, just here. And you can click on load a soundtrack. You can open WAVE and MP3 files, like this. So here we have our soundtrack, and just above we have the master. The master is the addition of all soundtracks you have, and it tells you to display what you will hear when you play the animation. Because at the moment we can see we have a long soundtrack, and the master just show a very tiny little bit from the soundtrack. It's because we had just have one image, one instance in our layer. The soundtracks can be here following the duration of a layer. So if I increase the duration of the layer, I increase what the master will uh, allow me to hear. So if I scrub in the timeline on the dark gray area, I can hear the sound from per frame. You can also scrub using the arrows uh, from the keyboard, but to do so you have to change a little parameter from the preferences. To do so, just go to Edit, Preferences, Sound tab, change the scrub mode for always. With the soundtracks, you have several possibilities. Let's increase a little bit this area. So you have the possibility, for example, to make a file bigger. And you can also play on faded and fade out. So you can move the little squares at the um, at the bottom to uh, cut in the soundtrack, just like uh, with instances. It's more or less the same purpose. And you can play with fade in, fade out by changing here the square above. You can move the soundtracks by clicking on the soundtrack and moving to the left or to the right. You can also play on the volume, like this. You can also split a soundtrack just by making a right click on the soundtrack, like this. Then you can split the track and still play with fade in and fade out. And so we can see in the master it displays the sound that we will hear. So here we can see the fade in, the volume increase, then it decreases, and then we have the same thing just here, and then it stop suddenly at image 126. You can also hide a sound by hitting on the speaker just here, or you can hide all sound by clicking on the master. By the way, be sure the speaker here is enabled too, and the fact that your sound from your computer is not disabled. You can also apply a color group. To do so, just click on the color tag like this. And actually the interest of using color groups for the soundtracks is the fact that if an animation layer is also uh, using the same color group, and you hit Control, you will move the sound and the animation simultaneously. It's a very handy option since it will allow you uh, to avoid 
the loss of synchronization between the sound and the image. Above the sound, there is another place very interesting. This is the notes area. To display the notes area, just click on the notes button just here. It's a notes area, so it's a place where you can write notes, you can write information. And you can use this area to write the lip sync for your animation. So let's scrub in the timeline. You have three colors available. You have a blue, a red, and a black, so you are free to use each color for your own use. So for example, you can use blue for the text, red for the retext. I know it's not Howard, but... And the black, for example, for um, the information, like... Um, Actually, this band, this white band, is a little bit like the band we traditionally have on the ink sheets for people who are used to work on paper. I think this example uh, will refresh their memories. Uh, so it's really a place where you can write information, write lip sync, write anything you, you, you need for the animation. You can also use um, different tools like for example the eraser the eraser blue will affect only the blue elements the red eraser will affect only the red elements and the same with the black you can also cut a note like this you can also display a grid you can move you can delete it and of course, these notes are undoable. You can hit U or Command Z or Control Z or Shift Z to undo any change. So you'll notice the big interest of the notes is the fact they are synchronized with the sound and with the animation. So once lip sync is done, you can start the animation uh, with the different phonemes and the different uh, syllabs made by your character. So here is that. An example from a professional work. I will hide the timeline. Now listen to me, all you good people. There's nothing wrong with strong emotion. But after you calm it down, you still got a problem, see? Now you gotta fix it. And you can. can see there are some layers within this project. Um, actually, the timeline for the notes also have another interest. For example, if your project is already over, I mean, you already animated everything and colors and put shadows and do everything uh, for the final project, and you need to record again the voices. Um, so, for example, to dub your animation into another language. You can use this band to write the translation and then display this band over the project and with the use of, um, of the good hardware or with another software made to record voices, you can read the text and record a new version. So to do so, I will click on the top menu just here. I will click on display during preview and I will use it in full size mode. Yeah. I will hide the timeline. I uncheck the sound and let's play. So here we have the text and the pink band just here symbolizes the current image. So what we are supposed to say at the T time. <laughs> And now a last feature regarding the sound and animation in TV Paint.
there is some very, very nice feature for this purpose. And this function is called the stopwatch. To open the stopwatch, we'll go into Windows, Animation, and click on the stopwatch. So it's um, a very handy panel since it will allow you to mark the rhythm, the beat from a song, from a music. It's very, very useful when, for example, you need to animate a video clip for a, a band or anything else. So let's start the stopwatch and let's mark the beat. Bam, 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 bam. Then I can stop the stopwatch. So you can see I have. I've recorded the beat with the stopwatch, and now I can turn this rhythm into a new layer already with a good timing. And then I can even turn this rhythm into image marks or into bookmarks. <laughs> 